Welcome to New Day Cleveland. I'm David Moss and we are going to spend an hour at Kalahari Resorts and Conventions in Sandusky, just a little bit more than an hour from Cleveland. Okay, this is one of America's largest indoor water parks. But if you haven't been here recently, man, there is a whole lot more going on and we are gonna show you. We're gonna have a great time indeed. So let's get this thing started. And like they always say, remember, even though it's close to home, it's always 84 and sunny. So let's see how it all got started. Well, aside from just being here at Kalahari Resort and Conventions, I think something else that's really neat is we have one of the owners joining us for this hour-long show today, Travis Nelson, second generation of the Nelson family. Yes. You have had this location open since 2005, mm -hmm. correct? Yep. Why do you think it is that people are so drawn to your resort here? Well, what's cool about Kalahari is we're a family. We're a family business. There's five kids in the second generation of my parents, and, and this is our show. And um, so we just do what we would like, what our family would enjoy on vacation. And that means something new, something cool, all the time. So every time you come back to Kalahari, you're going to find something unique. And I love the aspect of this that you can walk in here and you don't have to leave the property. I mean, it's, it's all under one roof. Exactly right. Park your car, forget about it. You know, you got obviously Ohio's largest indoor water park. We've got tons of drive features. We've got outdoor, we've got spa, and we've got incredible dining as well. And the thing that I think is so intriguing about the Nelson family is that you are all world travelers, big time world travelers. I know Africa clearly plays a role here. So how does the family traveling come into effect with Kalahari Resorts and Conventions? Well, it, it actually is really cool having Kalahari and having the African theme has allowed us to really explore Africa over the decades. And we've been so lucky to do that. When we first decided we were going to go with African theme, we weren't really sure if it was going to connect with our guests. It wasn't really being done at the time. We traveled to Africa in 1997 to do research by art, and we got off the plane and fell in love. I mean, there's so much there, the music, the people, the culture, the art. And we just wanted to it, it, it just relay that to our guests mm -hmm. in an authentic manner. So we go and buy art from the artists and bring that back and display it in our guests at our resort and tell those stories. Now, when you say bring the art back, are you saying that, I mean, you almost handpicked or handpicked everything we, we that is in here? We literally have purchased everything ourselves from the artist in a small market, talked about it, you know, haggled with them a little bit <laughs> to get the best price, put all that in shipping containers. When we opened this resort, we brought in four giant shipping containers full of art. Wow. And then we just said, well, what would, would this look good here? Would it look good there? And we're moving these big, heavy pieces all over, trying to find the perfect spot for it. So, and I know some of the coolest artwork too is right down in the hallways there of the near the convention center area. Yeah. Those are very precious pieces of artwork there. Yeah, and we actually have got to know that artist really well over the years. His name is Yeb, Y-E-B. So we call it Yeb Art. And he has a really unique process where he hand dyes silk and then he braids it and then puts it together in unique patterns. Usually does a lot of people and like music and art and, and they're dancing and, and it's beautiful. I mean, it's extravagant, really bright, really awesome. And we display that proudly at all three of our resorts. That is, it's so wild, it's so cool. And I know what's right behind us not only is such a huge focal point when you're here, but there's a lot of significance to the fireplace here. Yeah, we're at the Big Five fireplace, which depicts the Big Five animals of Africa. The elephant, the Cape buffalo, the lion, the leopard, and the rhino. Those are the Big Five animals, like the American bald eagle for the continent of sure. Africa. And, uh, you know, you go there, that's the goal. When you go on a safari, you want to see all Big and Five. And your family did, did you not? Were you able to see all five? We saw all five in one day, which is incredible. It rarely ever happens. We got to see all five in one day. And that's a, that's a, that was a really cool day for us. One of my favorite safaris we've ever been on. And so we, we want to display them because Af animals are really important to Africa as well. So they're depicted all throughout our resort as well. And you have all five up here, right? There's three on this side, a couple on the other side. Yeah, we've got a big elephant right when you walk in. One of the first things you see is a big bull elephant. So, I mean, what's more African than an elephant? Well, and I, again, I think it's so neat that we have one of the owners here. We're able to talk with you. And I know that people love this place. What do you hope people get out of it when they come? Well, not everyone's going to have the opportunity to travel to Africa. So one of the coolest things, obviously, you're going to have a great time with your family. You're going to play. You're going to, you know, you're going to have memories forever. But to be able to experience some of the authentic Africa is really special for us. You can watch our documentary films where we actually film some of our travels in Africa. We had some really crazy adventures. They're on in your guest room. We we talk to guests all the time and say we watched your videos for hours last night or <laughs> up till midnight, and, and that's really fun to, to see that those stories are relating and they're actually getting to experience that real Africa. Well, and I know you might not, like he's saying, get to go to Africa, but we are going to explore this entire resort today, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. So, 
Come along for the ride. Can't wait. <laughs> Well, now it's time to have some fun out here at Kalahari, and we all know that it's one of the biggest indoor water parks in the Midwest. The fifth largest, one of the biggest in the country. Well, guess what? It is even better in the summertime because it's happening outdoors. So we're outdoors right now with Brian. He's a man who knows everything there is to know, right? Oh, absolutely. About the brand new slides out here, out, outdoors. I look at that and I go like, okay, there's one slide there, but there's not one slide. There's how many? There are five slides out there. Five slides. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you sort of untangle the macaroni and noodles for me and tell me what's going on? Well, there's a lot going on, but number one, uh, you've got Extreme Rush, which is that drop slide. Um, you're standing in the capsule and then all of a sudden the floor drops out on you and it, you're going down on your body and uh, you're coming out strong. Okay, so you're going through this thing, there's water, you're going fast. How fast are you going? How much water is flying around in this game? Uh, there's a little bit of water going on, but I'm probably thinking somewhere around 25 miles an hour or so, yeah. something like that. That's a long way to fall when you're just wearing a bikini or a little pair of shorts, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Wear the good stuff. Wear the good stuff. Wear the stuff that really sticks to your body. Absolutely. <laughs> because anything can happen. How about the next slide up there? Well, we've got another one that's uh, the big green one. It's a stingray. You're uh, in a tube. I like the name, the big green one. The, the big green one, it's Stingray. It's really called Stingray. <laughs> all the kids call it Stingray. <laughs> anyway, you're going down and uh, all of a sudden you're going up a big wall and then coming right back out. And How does it, it's all gravity? It's all gravity. So you're starting from the top and then going nearly all the way back up to the top. And uh, what's the next slide on the agenda? Uh, well, tornado Alley, blue one. And there are two uh, tornado bowls almost when you're stopping or going from the top coming down, going into one tornado, and then going into another one, and then coming back out. So what happens when you get into the, into the tornado bowl? You go uh, back and forth a little bit, and then kind of funnel out. Is it like flushing and looking down into the toilet in a way, but there's a person going? Uh, yeah, just on the side. This <laughs> pretty good, I love that. What's the next slide? Uh, we've got the Sidewinder out here, um, and that's a pretty good one. You're in a raft, and you're going on the sides, and uh, back and forth, fun movement. And uh, then the last one is the body slide. And it's uh, similar to the ones inside. Uh, and uh, that one's pretty good, pretty quick. Tell me about loading this thing. Like, I see rafts going. Do you, do you need a raft for all of these, for some of them? What, how does each one work? You only need a raft for three of them. Um, the, the others, uh, I mean, you're walking up the stairs, and there'll be a raft waiting for you. Is there an elevator for old people like me? Uh, unfortunately not. <laughs> Lazy people like me, I have to walk too. <laughs> you have to walk too. So how long have you been here? Uh, seven years. Seven years. So you got this thing under control. Like You like the outdoors or the indoors better? I love getting a cool breeze, but at the same time, being warm all, all year round is great. And I think the best thing about coming to Kalahari, the fact is that you can, if you stay for a couple of days, you can spend one day indoors, one day outdoors, and there's a whole bunch of stuff to do out here. Yeah, you can try it all. Yeah, okay, does it help you to have uh, suntan lotion on when you go down these, like, makes you more slippery? Uh, I would definitely say so, maybe yeah. like waxing it up a little bit. Waxing it up, <laughs> I like that. So we, I just saw the, a, a tube come out of that. So which, which one did that come out of, the green one? The, that's the stingray. Yeah, that's the stingray. See, I'm learning these things. I, I'm proud of you. Yeah, and there's a whole bunch of other areas out here too. I see, uh, what's, what's over here in the little bullpen? Uh, we've got a zoo over there, and then uh, we've also got zip lining, rock wall, ropes course. We got a bar. Oh, we got the bar, you can't forget that. Well, I'll tell you what, before this day is over, I'm gonna find out about the zip lining. I'm gonna find out about everything here, because it's a ton of fun. Oh, absolutely. I need any help, you'll help me? I'll help you. Right. Yeah, I'll walk right over. The man. There's much more still ahead. times that I'm very mad I'm wearing jeans, Carolyn, and I'm sitting out here <laughs> by the water, very jealous of what's going on behind us right now. This is Bugsboro? Yes, this is Bugsboro at Kalahari. This is our newest feature in the outdoor water park. Nine new fun slides for our little itty bitties. Our youngest guests are very important at Kalahari. Yes, they are. <laughs> and there are so many of the little ones just eating this up right now. So there's how many different slides? There's nine new nine, slides nine new. through, making the little itty bitties feel like they are just a little cute critter flying through the under parts of the cute little world they live in. They, <laughs> are, they all have their little uh, life vests on or their swimmies on. And I'm telling you, they jump in there and it's like, they feel like they're an, they're an adult, they're an older kid that they can yeah. go and do these things and not and the parents don't have to worry then. The parents are right there with them, Natalie. They're up close to the guests. They're not, you know, more deep than their knees. They're right there and they get to be right by their little babies in their hands, in the swings. 
as their little toddlers come down the slide too. <laughs> They're so cute. I know. So then you have the great little uh, little swing area where they can get on the swings and they're kind of in the shade. Yes. And then what's, so there are more swings down there's there? There's a fun teeter-totter. There's a big, big little baby swing. I mean, there's really, a, they, they've perfected the stages of going from, you know, infants in the water sure. with their moms and dads all the way up to toddlers down those fun twirly slides. Well, I see that one slide in the middle that's like the green, <laughs> shades of green. It's one of those big fat slides. Yes. So, I mean, that's, that would be right on my alley. You could just sit down that thing. Now, the adults aren't allowed to go down the slides, right? Just the little itty just bitties the little in ones. this area. But they're right there with them. It's so nice. You got the lifeguards right on hand, just in case anything goes wrong. He's do, he's very serious. His eyes are on on the kids, Safety where they need to be. Safety number one. Safety first here. And Absolutely. you're kind of right in the middle of things. So you have the little ones right here, but then you're right next to all of the other outdoor water park. We areas. are right in the middle of the action here. We have the next stage maybe a little bit older in front of us and then we have the big wild slides for the older the older kids moms and dads might be zip lining through here <laughs> yeah, you'll get the little ones on here and then where's mom and dad oh they're up above right flying Woo! overhead right now <laughs> there they go natalie it really becomes like a party atmosphere out here you have the kids play you got the music going yeah the zip line it's just it really is you take everything from indoors, bring it outdoors, and it's all the excitement you could ever ask for. Yes, it's gorgeous out here. It's a perfect day at the Kalahari. Yeah, exactly, perfect. Why am I wearing <laughs> jeans right now? I wish I was in that water. You know what, we're gonna have to do something about it. <laughs>There's always a lot of excitement and activity happening at Kalahari Resorts and Conventions, but you're going to need time when you're here, especially if you're staying for a day or two, to unwind. And Nikki, this is the place to come, huh? The spa. Sure is. So you walk in these doors, you already feel at peace, you already feel like it's time for some pampering. You do a lot of pampering here. Absolutely. What would you say is like the number one, okay, someone has to come here and get this done. Well, our number one treatment is massage. It is the massage. Mm -hmm. Do you find a lot of couples do that? Yes, Individuals. A lot of couples. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you get a lot of couples. I've, just since we've been standing here, there's people coming in, yes. men buying them for their wives, or couples coming in together doing this. Absolutely. So it's for the men as well. Of course. So men and women, this is for both of you to come in here and enjoy this. Do you find that you have um, mother daughters come in, girlfriends? What what do you see a lot of? We do. We cater to um, a lot of groups, girlfriend groups, um, mothers, daughters, sisters, um, friends, different things like that. So a lot of options. So you come in. Can you schedule here? Should we schedule in advance? You can do, do either or. We do um, accept walk-in appointments. We do recommend that you call ahead of time so we can accommodate the time frame that works best for you. Um, we also have online booking as well. So a few options there as well. So you walk through this place. Over on the side corner there, what do we have going on? I saw pedicures and manicures taking place. Manicures and pedicures, right next to that is the salon. We do um, styling, cutting hair. Um, we also offer bridal makeup um, or right, event makeup. Um, manicures, pedicures, um, massage, facials, body treatments. The whole bit. And that seems like the list, it, it, it's over, right? No, it's not. You have <laughs> something really new that I, that I have never seen before, so it's very new to me. Um, that is in the back, and you're basically floating in water. Correct. What is that all about? So it's um, it's called our float experience. Um, what it is, it's a pod that has a solution of water and 1,100 pounds of Epsom salts. Um, the combination of the water and salt forces you to float. So you f can float for either 25 or 45 minutes, and um, it basically is a sensory deprivation where um, you're. Um, there's no weight associated with it you're just floating and typically what that allows you to do is reach your deepest relaxation i think i need one of those when i'm done with this <laughs> that's for sure and then um the halo spa halo therapy halo therapy yes so that's a salt therapy similar to the um we're all about salt these days um but the halo therapy is um, himalayan salt um, what does the work is the machine on the wall called the halogenator the halogenator breaks the salt down into teeny tiny particles expresses it into the air and you breathe it in so it um, gets on your hair skin nails and also you breathe it in the salt creates negative ions which attract to the positive ions inside your body detoxifies your from the inside out. Are you relaxed yet? I know I am. Then, to top it off, you walk out into the main area here and you have all of your retail space. 
I mean, I, I saw the Clarisonics up there. There's there's lotions. There's hair. I mean, you do have a lot to well, offer we here. We do. We do. And my personal philosophy is that we have something for you to take home to recreate the experience that you received here at the spa. It keeps you going until you come back yes. and get another spa treatment, right? Yes. And I think I have to go try one of these spa treatments right now. Okay, let's go. Mm. <laughs> there's much more still ahead. Hard to believe that you can have fun, water type fun, swimming type fun, splashing type fun in Ohio year round, but at Kalahari you definitely can and that's what's happening here at the fifth largest water park in the Midwest, one of the biggest in the country. And with me right now is Brian, who's an expert on all the slides and the tubes and all that. And Brian, when I first met you, I thought the reason you started your job here was just to meet girls in bathing suits. Yeah, that was a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really a fun job, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I found out like you're the guy who knows how to be fix and work all this stuff. You're the maintenance guy. Yeah, yeah, if something breaks, I'm usually here to fix it and stop it from happening again. So. Yeah, and so we're talking about some pretty complicated machinery too. This thing called Extreme Rush. Tell me a little bit about that. Basically, you're standing in a uh, capsule and you're just standing there and then all of a sudden the floor drops out and you just go from zero to 100 right then. And it's uh, it's a great slide outside. Okay, when you do Extreme Rush, it's one of those things where you want to hold your nose when you go down or? Eh, not so much. You want to kind of put your hands across your chest or yeah. behind your head. But. How about Storm Chaser? What's that like? Oh, that's amazing. So, as a kid, I was growing up and uh, playing a game called Guitar Hero, and it's basically taking Guitar Hero and putting it on a slide. So this is like an electronic game kind of thing and a water slide combined? Yep, both of them combined. So how does it work? Uh, basically, you've got LED lights above you uh, going down, and then uh, you also have buttons on the, the handles that you press. Whatever color you see is the button that you press. So do we get big long lines in front of these different slides, or how, what's the most popular? Uh, I would definitely say Storm Chaser is a hot topic right now. Yeah, I saw one also where I saw some younger kids going, it's got a big yellow pail at the top that tips over. Yeah, Leopard's Lair, and that's uh, been here for since we opened. But uh, the kids love that, the bucket's dumping every four minutes, and uh, everyone's standing underneath of it waiting. Talk a little bit about safety, because I know people see all this extravagant stuff, and you say you fell, you're going 100 miles an hour, and buckets of water on your head. You're the guy in charge of making things safe. Yeah, safety is the number one priority here, and if uh, you don't have safety, then you don't have guests coming to enjoy it here. Yeah, so when it gets cold outside, like when it's 10 degrees outside, what's the temperature inside the car? You're looking at 86 degrees all year round. 86 all year round. Okay, so we're talking about a couple of slides. Which ones did we miss? Well, we've got slides everywhere. We've got the Swahili Swirl, Tanzanian Twister. Uh, basically, you're going down one of those toilet bowl slides that everyone used to call it. So The toilet bowl slide? Yeah, that's what, uh, that's what we hear most of the time. What's so. your favorite? Personally, I love Extreme Rush. I love going from zero to 100. I love fast things. I think it's great. So, Kalahari's been here how long? Uh, 2005. 2005. So. And you started when? Uh, I think I started in 2011. So, if you came here in 2011, 2012, 2013, how has this part of the park changed? Well, yeah, I mean, we're adding new things. We're going with the new generations. Adding Storm Chase is a huge thing for our guests, a huge thing for the associates, everyone, really. Uh -huh. it's, uh, it's a game changer. And in terms of uh, how fast these are and how violent, should you recheck the spandex in your bathing suit to make sure you still have your bathing suit on when you come out the other end? Absolutely, especially on Flow Rider. The surfing machines, make sure they're tied tight. And that's why I saw a crowd around the bottom there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It's called Just In Case. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot. We'll look at some more stuff in the park. Sounds good. Are you ready for some action? Kalahari has done the impossible. They have combined a water slide and a video game. Check it out. Our water park is 173,000 square feet, so there are many attractions for kids, for adults, uh, toddlers. Uh, we've got something for everyone in our indoor water park. Always adding new and exciting attractions. Uh, we just added Storm Chaser, which is basically a water slide and a video game got married. And so you're driving down, riding down the slide and you have a controller on the board that you're sitting on. You're hitting targets as you go down. Um, you can choose your own music. You have a unique username. So you can track your scores, your levels, just like a video game. So it's uh, two of the greatest things ever, water slides and video games. 
Storm Chaser is a really fast ride, lots of uh, turns, lots of action. You're hitting the targets as you go down. The, the better you do, the faster, um, the higher your score. We are Ohio's largest hotel, so 890 rooms. We've got rooms from two queen beds up to five bedroom, five bath, basically a, an entertainment villa, 4,100 square foot finished home that you can rent. All of those come with water park passes for the entire group. Um, we have great packages online and there's something for everyone. Inside the water park we have restaurants, we have great experiences. We can do private uh, flow rider lessons on the flow rider or we can do mermaid experiences. So if you ever dreamed of swimming like a mermaid, we can make that happen right here at Kalahari Resorts. We are so excited to open the outdoor water park this year. We have like 300,000 square feet of space in our outdoor water park and adventure park. So we have zip lines, we have ropes course, climbing walls, we have a great zoo with great African animals. Uh, the outdoor water park is fantastic. We added five iconic new slides to our outdoor water park for the big kids last year. This year we're adding multiple new slides for the little kids, so we just keep adding and making it better. We're going to have live entertainment um, on the pool deck all summer long with some bands, some DJs, and lots to do for all kinds of kids and, and kids of all ages. And if you're just wanting to relax, we have the Lazy River. It's the number one attraction for people that just want to chill out. The wave pool is huge, so if you like action and simulated uh, beach, you go to the wave pool. Um, we really have something for everyone, from toddlers all the way up to big, exciting rides for the big kids. More New Day Cleveland after this. have that many people having that much fun that means there's going to be a whole lot of hungry going on out there and that's why we're talking to Samuel right now who's the executive chef and when it comes time to feed all these guys you're ready on a whole bunch of different levels aren't you all kinds of different levels from cabana service to restaurants to sit down to grab and go we got you covered with anybody in your family and where you want to be I see a place over there called Zuluville so what happens over there Yeah, so Zulu grill is actually kind of like one of our quick eateries inside the center of the water park chicken tenders made to order pizzas hamburgers bratwurst nachos pretzels again that fun fair food that everybody wants kind of on the go because Let's face it, we're here for a water park, not necessarily to have lunch, but that quick service, yeah. get in, get out, get back to enjoying the water park. How many different places? Um, all in all, I think we have seven restaurants on property, if you count our food trailer, which is our newest addition. But we also have, you know, cabana services as well. Ah, Something this is here. nice. So these, we actually have over 40 different styles, on, or 40 different ones on property with several different styles. We also feature online ordering for these, where you can go online before you're coming a week, a day, a month in advance. Whoa. Things from pre-ordering your pizza, roast beef sandwiches, we got chicken salad, desserts, all kinds of variety of options, an assortment of beverages. So you go, on the, you go on the website, and you find the menu on the website, and then you line it up with the day you're going to be here and you can pre-plan lunch? You can pre-plan your lunch, your dinner. You can tell us I want it served at three o'clock. We'll have it here at three o'clock. You want it at four o'clock, four o'clock. Multiple orders, whatever you need. That way you can kind of plan your day around the fun. Yeah, well, you know what I like about this too? We got the nice cold cut sandwiches. We got pizza. Who doesn't love pizza? Nice fresh fruit. We've got cupcakes. We've got wraps, and boy, what a nice selection of juices and drinks. Yeah, and all those are available at all of our bars and restaurants on property. You know, we have sit-down bars, we have full-service bars, and again, all this is available through Cabana Service as well. And I understand there's a couple places where you get cocktails, like adult cocktails. Yes, we got some great adult cocktails. We got one place just on the other side of the water park, it's actually a swim-up bar. What's called that called? Mud Hut. Mud Hut. Let's go to the Mud Hut. Well, I guess the Mud Hut is my kind of hut. Right? <laughs> this is pretty good. So people can come right in here, they, they swim right up to this bar here for the drinks. Yep. What, do you, what do you call these drinks? So this drink here, these are uh, souvenir cups that we have, they're 45 ounces. This is a Kalahari Sunrise, it's got a mango puree, a raspberry puree, uh, adult style, it's with, mixed with vodka. We can also do them virgin. And then we also have a bomb pop, so you got the red, white, and blue. We got uh, raspberry puree, a little bit of blue raspberry in there, some pina colada mix. Again, available in the souvenir cup, virgin, or with an adult so beverage. This, this is a sunrise, this should be good night. Right? <laughs> There's like 45 ounces, right? Yeah, 45 ounces for they, these ones. But they come in different sizes too. Yep. And I know it's another bar that looked even bigger than this one on the way here. Yeah, we have one right across from the Zulu Grill that we talked about earlier. It's about four times as big here. Again, full service bar, beer, liquors, 
frozen mixed drinks, kids' drinks, whole nine yards. You know, the other thing I noticed here at Kalahari, like all the food looks spectacular, and uh, all the all the liquor, all liquor is good liquor. I mean, nice beers. There's some IPAs, a lot of great stuff here. So you guys don't mess around. No, we don't. We try to have something, a little bit of something for everybody out there. Yeah. So check it out. Samuel is the executive chef here, so he's in charge, but he's going to tell me about a place right now where you can visit. You don't have to be here at the park to enjoy the park. You can be driving by or just come up here, look at the park, and have lunch or dinner there. What's that place called? It's a B-Lux, our brand new restaurant. So burgers, fries, and shakes, you know, newly renovated, just brand new, open a month, ready to rock and roll. On to B-Lux. One thing I have to say about Kalahari is there is fun everywhere you look, everywhere you go, and not very difficult to find a great place to eat. But here at Belux, it's a little bit different. You don't have to have a room here, or stay here, or be swimming or using the water park. You can just drive in off the street, and Justin is going to make lunch or dinner for you, right? You got it. Now I was wondering, what I, B sort of sounds like burger, but Lux is for what? Luxurious. Luxurious burger. That's right. I got to tell you, everything I saw in the menu too, it does look pretty luxurious and sort of oversized and big, right? Is that the idea behind it? Yeah, we got to fill these people up. <laughs> I bet you yeah, do. Yeah. yeah, so I know the beer people are going to be happy, but uh, I know the wine people are too. You got a case back there with all the great stuff in it. You got Mondavi back there. Yep. Yeah, Stag's Leap, all right. kinds of good stuff. So, do you sell wine by the glass or by the bottle? How do you do that? We do both. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can get a glass if you want, uh -huh. or a whole bottle. Yeah. We got, got a beer of the month we feature every month, 12 beers on tap. And what's going on back in the corner here? I see there's, it looks like there's a microphone and a little Yeah, stand. we got a DJ on the weekends. Uh-huh. Yeah. Party. Uh, party room back there? Private dining room, yep. Okay, so we're out front with the chef, and he knows a little bit about what's going on here, but what he really knows about is what's going back there, right? The food. The That's food. Right. So what is up with this pretzel? It doesn't look like a pretzel. It looks like a, a coil of rope or something. Right. It's a big barbarian pretzel, real big. Uh, we make a beer cheese every day fresh. Drip it over the top of the pretzel? Uh, you get to dip into it. Oh, you dip yeah. into it. Yeah, and we talked in the beginning when we first started this thing about B-Lux, burgers and luxurious and that sort of thing. Right. What's this, there's something like, uh, some kind of burger with like a like cheese head or something crazy? Yeah, it's a beer batter cheese curds on it. It's got the cheese going over. Uh -huh. um, we got a double burger, it's a pound of beef. We got our special blend from uh, Blue Ribbon. Oh yeah. So uh, what kind of sides do you put with that burger? Fries, french fries, waffle fries, tater tots. And it looks like everybody, everything is sort of like a big size around here too, right? Yeah, yeah. For sure. Okay, so we get this burger. It's got what? How many patties on it? The double burger has two patties. It's a pound of beef. A pound of beef. Yeah. But we've got another burger that's even bigger than that. That's totally crazy. What's that burger? That's the double. B Lux double. Yeah. B Lux double. Yeah. So what what goes on that one? Just a uh, lettuce, tomato, onions, cheese, bacon. Okay. So when you when you get a, a burger like that, or you're thinking about fries and onion rings, the pretzels and all that kind of stuff, you need a drink, right? So shakes. I go. I think when I was a kid, I used to see good milkshakes. Uh -huh. You've got some kind of genius thing to make in shakes. Tell me about your shakes. Uh, we get our ice cream from Toffs local. We get fresh donuts, and we got a big donut shake. What do you put a donut in a shake? What do you mean a donut on a shake? A big a fresh donut. How do you do yeah. that? I have to show you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. So what goes in the donut shake? Uh, we got Nutella, some sprinkles, donut crumbles. Uh huh. Yeah. And how many different kinds of shakes do you have like that? Uh, we got like eight or nine of them, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. That's pretty good. Now, how about if an adult wants a shake? I mean, I, I like a regular strawberry yeah. shake or donut shake, maybe. Right on. But uh, I saw one that might even have some booze in it. Yeah, we got a few hard shakes. We call them. Yeah. Some's got bourbon in. It. We got a couple with vodka in it. Yeah. Something for everyone. Something for everyone. Adults, and I, kids, all of it. And you're talking about the uh, the booze and the big shakes for the adults. Uh -huh. I was going to say, you have a pretty good whiskey selection here and bourbon selection. Yeah, it's we all do. popular nowadays. Yep. Definitely come in, get a burger, get a drink. Yeah, bring the kids. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to let you go now. I'm going to let you go in the kitchen okay. where, you're, where you're the most comfortable man right. in the world. <laughs> you got it. I'll see you, dude. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Stick around. We'll have more right after the break. Getting in and out of the water, you know, you need a break right here and there. Carolyn, this yes. is definitely the place to take a break. You are right. Welcome to the big game room, Natalie. It's huge. Hundreds <laughs> of the best, newest arcade and redemption games 
that you get to earn tickets and turn into this massive prize counter. The parents love that because then all the <laughs> toys and all the stuffed animals go home in the van and they're like, oh, that's one more thing to add to the mix. But hey, when they're here, it keeps the kids so busy and the adults too, I'm sure. Yes, there is something here for the whole family. We love all of the different unique areas of this big game room. There is virtual reality, mini bowling, mini golf, endless games. It and is a blast. The virtual reality looks so cool. When you walk by here, you see these people with the headsets on and they're over yes, there like yes. doing them like, what are they doing? But they know <laughs> what they're doing because they're in their own little virtual world over there. Exactly. You mentioned mini golf. Yes. This is a really cool mini golf course. Yes, thank you. Madagascar mini golf is a wild adventure, black light fun. Um, it's like a safari, you'll see animals, elephants, lions. It's nine holes, and again, it's so fun for the little ones and mom and dad. That's the thing, you right. can, it's, it's an event where an activity you can get the whole family involved in it. I know maybe the little wean, little baby ones can't do the laser tag, but I'm sure the teenagers go crazy over that. The laser tag is a blast. It, it is a fun workout. I love it too <laughs> because, I mean, you're running around, the music gets you going, and again, a great competition. Shows your names, who the winner is, high points. And let me tell you, I thought 3D theaters were cool, and then I saw that there is a 7D theater here. So that's something that people can't miss when they come in here. Another thing is the mini bowling. Mini bowling. So little mini balls they're about five pounds and our mini bowling doesn't require special shoes um, and any age can do it so bring the whole family get those competitive juices flowing <laughs> and um, compete for or just have fun for 10 frames of mini bowling it depends on what you're in the mood for right a little right. bit of competition or just a little bit of fun when it comes to the arcade games which i know take up the majority of the floor down here yeah I look at some of these and I think, oh my gosh, I remember this as a kid, like you had the skee ball, all the claw games that are here, but then there's some new ones that I'm like, wow, I mean, the kids, and I think adults, you get you get the adults in on some of these things too because they haven't seen some of them before. Right, I love it too, it reminds me of my childhood right? too, Natalie. Um, everything from the claw games to, you know, banging the mole head. Oh yes, I remember that one too. Yes. And then they can take all the tickets they earn yes. and cash in on, as you mentioned, some some good prizes over there. Exactly, uh, just a massive selection at the redemption counter. So we're doing all this talking. There's so <laughs> many things to see and do here. We cannot leave the arcade without having a little fun ourselves, right? It's only fair, right? I love it, Natalie. Let's, Let's find We're gonna it. figure out what we're gonna play. You can come with us. All right. Brian's still having fun here at uh, Kalahari. I, I was in the water for a while, so I got that little like uh, prune-like stuff on your fingers. You ever get that? Oh yeah, I think you need to dry off a little. Dry bit. off a little bit. So what I did was I went over to the rock wall to climb a little bit. Is that what you call that thing with all the studs in it? Oh yeah, we got rocks all over it and four different sides. It's bad Easy. for your manicure, brother. Oh yeah, I got to do mine at the spa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell me about this. How many people can get on that thing? How hard is it to climb? And why do you have that here? Well, you got to have it. It's a rock wall, uh, but it goes from easy, medium, hard and then an extra hard side for those that are really trying to do that so let's talk about the easy side i would try the easy side first how, how difficult is that how, how does that work oh the hand placement is just a little bit closer works out a little bit better and it's only maybe about a 20 foot up uh-huh and is there an age group thing on that uh they have to be uh 40 44 inches for that. Uh -huh. and so. how about any kind of any kind of special gear uh just a harness they're in a harness and uh, when you go up you can just fall right down so if you fall from 20 feet up something catches you, huh? Mm -hmm. Is it a person standing there with a rope, or how do they do that? No, new school style. It's uh, an auto belay, and basically when you're coming down, it's just a nice slow descent down. So floor. it's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. What's the next step up from that first inter that first introductory wall? Uh, you're just, uh, the hand placement's just a little bit further off, and the rocks are a little bit smaller, and it goes that way all the way around. Mm -hmm. So have you done it yet? Oh, absolutely. So when you get all, all the way to the top, I mean, have you fallen from the top? Oh, yeah. It's probably more fun than climbing. I like falling part, yeah. <laughs> falling part's good. What makes the most difficult part the best? Uh, you are reaching uh, so far away from your foot that you really have to pull yourself you up. You gotta either. stretch. Yeah, you gotta stretch it out. A guy so. like me, a stomach might get in the way, huh? Eh, you might be all right, just roll up. 
Hey, so talking about my weight and stomach and all that kind of stuff, the zip line, right? Mm -hmm. How cool is that? Is there some restrictions on the zip line? Hey, there are a few, 300 pounds, and uh, you got a safe fit in the I just make it. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be fine. I just make it. So tell me about that. So that you don't have to climb the rock wall to get to the top to do that, do you? No, there's a nice staircase, no elevator there, but uh, just walk on up. Yeah, so how long is that? How fast do you go? And it looks like you've got a couple of them out here. Yeah, so it's actually, it starts from one, you're going in a square all the way around the uh, outdoor water park. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah, because I can only see, they look like those towers on, in a in a uh, Apache uh, cowboy movie, you know, at, at the <laughs> fort. Yeah, with the little hood up there. So you, when you get the one, you get off, and you have to restrap in for the next one? Yeah, sort of. It's a quick process. You're just dropping yeah. about 10 feet every time, and it's a very quick process going to the next tower. So this would be a good way to go from the back of the hotel all the way to the front of Kalahari. Stopping and starting in the same spot. Yeah, how fast do you go, you say? About 20 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. So what else is there to do outside? I know I saw uh, a, 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 all the beautiful water slides out here. We talked about that. We got the bar out here. We got no miniature golf. Uh, no miniature golf out no here. No miniature golf. Sunbathing, no. Absolutely, get your tan on. Okay, so what are you using, like 50 or what? Oh, I'm going all out. You better, because you're, you're a little pale for working at Kalahari. Yeah, I'm working on it. I want to tell you, this guy is the guy who's in charge of engineering and maintenance indoors. So when you come out here and have a great time, this is the guy, when you see him, thank him and say, hey, Brian, you're a good man. Thank you. Thanks. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, it is official. I know where I'm going to stay the next time I come up here to Kalahari. Carolyn. These are just breathtaking. Thank you. Oh. Welcome to the Nyumba Entertainment Suites at Kalahari. So you know where that you can come and rest your head and really also be entertained all in one suite. Yes, these are standalone villas that sleep up to 22 guests and have an amazing array of amenities right here. So you're saying, though, I should bring some friends with me, right? I don't think I can do that on my own. But if I bring 21 friends, I'm good to go. <laughs> yes, they're perfect for multifamily getaways, corporate events, private parties, um, weddings, really anything. And there, are there two floors? Yes, they're two story. They have a full kitchen, fully supplied to cook great meals, um, host events, and then all of your entertainment amenities, pool, games, music, TV. You wanna give me a little tour real quick? I would love to show you, Natalie. Let's go inside. Okay, there's no doubt that we had to walk in here. It's more of a see to believe situation. These are unbelievable. They're gorgeous. They are just beautiful. <laughs> Look at this place. So this is kind of like a living area that you have right here. And then, is that a sunroom out there? Yes, it's a beautiful sunroom that you can enjoy the gorgeous backyard and beach volleyball area. And they have a patio. I mean, I saw people laying out over there. So yes. if you don't want to sit over by the water park, you can sit here and lay out. In your own private backyard. This is wild. That's a two-story fireplace. That just looks beautiful. And so they really have tried to incorporate all of the whole African theme over into the suites as well. Yes, all African inspired. And I even see a drum over there by the fire. See, now put a fire on, do a little drum session. Yes. You're good to go. Yes. This kitchen, no wonder you can have 22 people stay in here. You can prepare meals, special events. You can do it all in a kitchen like this. Look at those countertops too. That you still have the vibe. It's, it's, I see the whole theme right here in the suites as well. There's the games that you, you were talking have about. Games. You gotta have games. And how about the pool table? That you, I mean, that it, I was thinking maybe, I don't know, it's like a little mini pool table. You have a full no. blown pool table in these. You have two, is it two bedrooms on the first floor? That, I mean, it just goes and goes and goes. And then upstairs, <laughs> the other bedrooms and the bathrooms. I heard something about, you know, if you're bringing a bunch of clothes that you might be in good hands here too. You're right, Natalie. You can wash and dry your stuff and take all your clothes home clean. So, <laughs> I mean, really you don't, until you get to the water park, this in itself, I would think, is a draw to come and stay here at Absolutely. the Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. There is something for everyone in this house. You can have your own self time. You can have family time playing games. Your shuttle ride away from the water park and the convention center. It's right here on property. These are, I think it's a, like, you gotta stay here once in your life. If you come here to Kalahari and you want to just one time experience, you gotta do it. Yes. This is the way to like live it up, maybe for a celebration of some sort. I'm sure you get a lot of people who do birthdays yes. or yes. other types of celebrations. 100% spe um, special celebrations, birthday parties, anniversaries. Um, it's a really nice place to meet with your family. Well, I'm gonna get out my phone and try to find my list of 22, 21 <laughs> friends that I'm gonna bring with me the next time I'm here. These are awesome. Thanks, Natalie. Our road trip continues after the break.
Well, we have definitely found one of the most popular spots here at Kalahari, and I'm not talking about the water slides, and I'm not talking about the convention center. <laughs> I'm talking about the candy hut. Carolyn, they, I, they did this on purpose, right? I mean, this place is perfectly situated right at the entrance. Yes, Natalie, welcome to the Candy Hut at Kalahari Resort where we specialize in sweet indulgence. This is a great selection of homemade fudge, hand-dipped chocolates. There's such a variety for everyone. You will love what you find here, as you mentioned. It's <laughs> trouble, but it is really good trouble. It's a great problem to have. So if you want to go in, I love the scoops. Oh yes, you can gummy get the anything. scoops of gummy anything you want. But I've had my eyes on this chocolate since the moment I walked in here. Um, and I know the great thing about this is I've seen these women work so far behind the yes. counter. Yes. Hand dipping everything, making sure they look absolutely perfect. Um, I didn't mention the caramel apples. Every Stop. type of caramel apple you could ever imagine. Very unique and fun flavors. And it's um, always here, right on the corner, as you walk in and out of the resort, you could even have something delivered to your room. Oh. Yeah. So, it's like, have my chocolates delivered to the room, please. <laughs> uh, since we're right here, I know Nicole's been hard at work back here, and she might be able to help us out and get us something. I, I tried the chocolate-covered jalapenos, which I still see. Nicole, though, I think I have to try a pecan turtle this time around. Look how good those look. <laughs> oh, what do you want? You gotta get something. What do you want? I would love to want? try a chocolate covered strawberry. Okay. Those look beautiful. They are. Oh, they delicious. Thank, Thank you Nicole. so much. Look at this. So they have cake batter dipped in white chocolate. Okay, why didn't I see that before? But can I, Nicole, no, I'm kidding. I won't get another one. <laughs> one of my favorites is the butterscotch porky pines, cookies oh. and cream bark. Oh my gosh. Like, you just want one of everything when you come here. Yeah. Wait, so I have to show you. I know this is a very popular place. There's people everywhere you turn. But I got to show you some of the kids' things. How cute are these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Oreos and the white chocolate M&M Oreos? There's the jalapenos right next to them. They are hot, but they are so good. Downstairs, if you really want to get into them, maybe the cookie making, the dessert making yourself, you can do that. Yes, one of our favorite traditions at Kalahari is cookie decorating time. Downstairs every day at 3 o'clock, make your own cookie. We put out all sorts of frosting and sprinkles. Kids of all ages get in on that. It's a nice little sweet treat in the afternoon. Um, you know what is fun too? Our Kalahari characters are there. Oh, they Kenya, come out too. Kaya, Benny, and Lou can be found at cookie decorating time. Oh, and I'm guessing these guys prepare all of the great cookies that you use for downstairs. So that also, if you don't want to get something up here, you just go downstairs, yes. which makes it that much easier. Yes. Before we discuss anything else, I I, I can't wait anymore. All right. Try this. Let's do it. Mm. Mm. It's so good. I know you want some. <laughs> I know you want some. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely fabulous. And the strawberry looks it is, unbelievable. It is delicious. Mm. So, once you're done so eating, or when, when you're snacking, you can do two things at once, right? So once you're done snacking, you can also go on this Rhino Express that you have here now. That's new. We have a fun new train here. It's in the outdoor water park. It is the Rhino Express. It goes around the outdoor water park twice and gets you up close to all of the action out there. It is so fun, and it's good for all ages. Okay, so if you want to take the little ones, and we, so I can get on it We too. can go on it, yes. Okay, because I was going to say I'd feel a little bit left out. No, <laughs> we can go on. So there's always something new and fun, but there's these staples that are always here. And you have to come to the Candy Hut. Take a look at those girls one more time. Look at those smiling faces. Say hi, ladies. Come and visit them here at the Candy Hut because I promise you they will take very good care of you. Yes. Don't you think? Yes, this is delicious. Thank you, ladies. We're going to keep eating. <laughs> Well, that's going to do it for our show from Kalahari Resorts and Conventions here in Sandusky. Just a little bit more than an hour from Cleveland. And as you learn, not just for kids. We've got something for everyone out here. I particularly like that restaurant here called B Lux, where you don't even have to stay here to go to the restaurant. Milkshakes and burgers like you never saw before. I got to tell you, Kalahari Resorts and Conventions, a great spot to visit. And as I said, a little bit more than an hour from Cleveland. Why wait? Come on out and have some fun. It's always 84 and sunny. For Natalie Herbick, I'm David Moss. We'll see you on the next New Day Cleveland.